All right, shall we? Yes, I believe that we shall do it now. It's my hair, how's my hair? Hair looks good. Look at me. Yeah, looking good. Not too many wings? No wings. All right, cheers. Cheers. To you. To you. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy birthday if today's your birthday. And welcome back to a highly anticipated video that I'm so excited <laughs> to film. We are doing our engagement q and I asked you guys on Instagram for questions and literally I've never gotten so many submissions for questions. It was so hard to choose. I ended up pulling 35 questions <laughs> and I skipped over so many that I was like, oh, I'll save that for a different video. I'll save talking about that for a different video. There were just too many good ones. It was so hard to choose. So I don't know how many I'll actually keep in or how many we'll actually get through because <laughs> 35 questions is totally ridiculous. But let's just go ahead and hop right into it because apparently we have a lot to talk about. Yeah, bring it on. Quickly though, we are drinking some champagne that our friends Chris and Erica bought for us for our uh, engagement, I guess. Celebration. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So shout Thank out you, to Chris them. And Erica. Thank you. And we're drinking out of the champagne glasses that my grandparents used at their wedding. Yeah, so how lovely is that? very fitting. Okay, I really should have put these in like an order that made sense to talk about things, but I didn't. So um I guess like the number one question that I was asked was like, did you know? Were you surprised? I will say, like day of, 100 percent I was surprised. I was literally not expecting it at all. All. Like literally I think I was at like a zero yeah. percent, but there had been lots of things that I'd picked up previously That made me think it might happen like that weekend But then Connor straight up lied to my face and mm -hmm. just told me it's not happening then It was a Hail Mary on purpose. Yeah, totally to be fair like I would say months leading up to it She had I was suspicious. I definitely wasn't <laughs> I could have been more subtle and secret about it leading up to it when we were like four or five months out in the fact that I was like taking phone calls in front of you where I would just leave the room. Yeah, which is very unlike him. Like usually he's like on speakerphone with his friends while I'm trying to watch TV and I'm like, can you Okay, I'm never get on out of speakerphone. Yes. <laughs> I'm not. See, now he's gotten good at lying. He's oh my God. <laughs> in this case, I, uh, anyway, so she had picked up on some clues that yeah. it was happening. Exactly. And then we, then I like, because it was getting to about a month and a half away from when the engagement was, and I think she had a decent sense that it might be happening. Yeah. That weekend, I had to go all in, like full Hail Mary. Yeah. Which is, you know, just bring it up on the last date before you were going to New, New Jersey, Jersey yeah. and I was going to Minnesota. I, you know, I had gone back and forth of like whether or not to mention it. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to lie in some way to try throwing yeah. you off. Yeah, yeah, And then in the moment, I was like, all right, we're going to He gonna just go. did the whole thing. Yeah. Um, at that point, I, I was still like slightly suspicious of that weekend, but I was pretty far off of it just because Tara had been like complaining mm -hmm. to me a lot about how Connor had not been good at planning. So at that <laughs> point, I just kind of figured like, well, then it's not happening like at that point. You know what I mean? So, and then that just like confirmed it 100% for me. Yeah. And then I was pretty much off the trail most, most of the time. Someone said, how long did your parents know? Did they seem suspicious when you visited New Jersey? Ooh. So I'll answer, I guess, the first part, which is when did your parents come to visit March? No, I think like May. Her parents came to visit. Um, the idea I had, like I had made the decision back, I think like December or something. Well, way before, you know, you make the decision that you actually want to get married and then you realize, holy fuck, there's so much you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> to actually get sorted out. Yeah. And so um, when her parents had come to visit, I was like, great, I'll get some alone time with them and then I'll, you know, ask for their blessing. Yeah. Then, um, of course, they're super excited to see Jill. And so it was kind <laughs> of the four of us all together 24-7. Yeah. Didn't really have that opportunity until like the last night that yeah. they were supposed to be there. I was like, okay, need to make it happen. Jill went to the bathroom at this restaurant we were at and I was like, okay guys, I'm sorry that this is how we're gonna do it, but here's the game plan, blah, 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 blah. And they're super sweet, of course, and very supportive. And yeah, so that's when yeah. they knew. Yeah, I didn't think that they were suspicious at all. 
like at all and i was kind of talking about like getting engaged a lot while i was in new jersey like i've seen a lot of families so people were asking about it and also just like i think it was on my mind like i don't know if like something internally knew that it was gonna happen soon even though like in my mind it, i was not like on it happening but like i I talked about it definitely a lot with like my parents and whatever and told them like, oh yeah, Connor said he was thinking about proposing this trip, but like said that he couldn't make it happen or whatever. And like, I didn't pick up anything weird from them. Okay, so I got a lot of questions kind of similar to this. It was said that you were tough to surprise and that you may have been suspicious thoughts. And other people were asking like, what tests were you doing? Like, how were you like investigating the situation? Which is funny because like, I only did one active test, one test, and it was on Connor. Um, one active test, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> that's fine, you guys can believe me or not, but um, I sent a ring to Connor to see what his reaction would be when I sent it to him, and he like looked at it, and he just said like, okay, like good to know. Noted. Yeah, exactly. And that was it. So I was like, okay, like I, I feel like he didn't, like he hasn't bought a ring yet. Like that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, oh, yeah. Does he have a ring or not? Oh yeah. And I, I um, of course had bought the ring by that time. Yeah. And internally was like, are you fucking kidding me, Joe? <laughs> like. <laughs> it was different than the one I had said that I wanted. Yeah. And, <laughs> oh God, Molly's going to puke. Oh God. Molly cat, no. Molly, no, no, no. <laughs> so like other things that I was accused of testing people with. <laughs> accused. Was. <laughs> Like me saying that I wanted to get red nails. That was literally not a test. Connor at that point, when I said that, had straight up told me it's not happening this weekend. So I had been getting neutral nails the entire year just in case. And he told me it's definitely not happening that weekend. So I was like, ooh, I'll do something fun. And then transition back to my neutral nails afterwards. Yeah. And then I got the red nails. That was not a test. I swear it was not. This is not really a test, but like I purposely also did, did not talk to Tara that much about different like theories that I had. Like she ha she was asking me what theories I had. And so then I would start to tell her, but instead I was telling my friend Kelly because I thought Kelly knew nothing, but it turns out Kelly knew everything. Yeah. But like that was all innocent because I thought Kelly knew nothing. Yeah, but so. you were still throwing out a bunch of different, so you were, theories, in, yeah. you were internally. So th what I would say was yeah. Jill was internally testing quite a bit. But yeah, not really outwardly testing anyone. I wasn't like saying things to like get, see what people's reactions were and try to like get information. I was just like talking to my friends about my theories that I had. Well, and it's funny, even on the uh, date, which I confessed about, not you know, it's not going to oh, happen yeah. during yeah. the weekend. Jill goes, you know, Connor, like you got to reach out to Kate because it takes actually a couple months <laughs> to get these rings sorted out. And I'm like, oh shit well noted and <laughs> again so like i did not think it was gonna happen that weekend at all and like tara had just been like pushing this whole narrative that like connor did not have his shit together that he had not ordered a ring like all of this <laughs> stuff and it was making me nervous which was both earnest and slightly <laughs> embellished a i'm not the best communicator in general so tara was getting frustrated at times with the lack of communication on updates and then i think she was also leaning in slightly to yeah, kind of throw you off definitely a little bit so yeah and like heavily that week before when i was with her she was leaning in so heavily on this whole like narrative which definitely worked. But if anything, it was making me kind of like upset with Connor, like not mad at him, but I was just like, why is he not taking this seriously? <laughs> Meanwhile, had the ring already in my possession. It was all sorted. Yeah. <laughs> Someone asked, did you have any say about your ring or did Connor pick it himself? So I had sent the rings that I was interested in, like anytime I would see one, I would send it to Tara. And then I had told Connor, whenever like the time comes, just talk to Tara. Cause anytime I thought of like, ooh, it would be fun to do that. Or, ooh, I'd like that. I just sent it to Tara. That way I wasn't like constantly bothering Connor about it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so like, yeah, I had a say in the ring, I guess, because like I knew what shape I wanted. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then Connor did everything else. Yeah. About it. Like, well, and I got to give a big shout out to the planning committee. The Euro <laughs> trip planning committee is what we called it. Um, that way, if Jill stumbled upon it, she would think it was It was Europe. Europe. <laughs> um, which is Caitlin B, Kelly, and of course, Tara as yeah. well. Yeah, Tara got all the details about what ring she wanted. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Tara communicated at the time, you weren't the easiest in terms of the ring because yeah. you were changing your mind like, yeah. a million different times. Knew she wanted a sustainable eco-sourced ring. Yep. Um, 
And then once Tara kind of nailed down, okay, she keeps kind of coming back to this design. Yeah. So Tara communicated the design. Got to give a huge shout out to Caitlin because she had gotten a eco sustainable ring. Um, and so Caitlin just sent me like a couple different websites being like, this would work, this would work, you can source it from here. Yeah. And so I really just had to review with that yeah. information. They made my life really easy. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and that was pretty much the whole process. That was it. Yeah, so I know I also have a question here somewhere about like details about the ring. Um, but yeah, that was really all I was gonna share. It's like eco-friendly, we got it from this website. What's it called again? So it's Bayou with Love. Yeah. Nikki Reed started it. Uh, she's in yeah. Twilight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, the diamond is sourced from a company that Leo started, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, that obviously does like these solar rings. It's a diamond like foundry. Yeah. That is all sustainable, ethically sourced diamonds that they then grow using solar and especially Bayou with Love, everything um, regarding their operations is either solar or yeah. hydro powered. So it's 100% sustainable, which yeah. is great. And like every ring bought, they plant like 100 trees and stuff like that. So it's a really cool company, I think, to purchase jewelry Plus, from. Plus, it looks great, as you guys it's saw. Perfection. And for the guys out there, it's like, I think like almost like a third of the cost of what of like a natural a diamond, diamond that yeah. size would usually be. So, but yeah, that was really my only number one thing. I was like, no blood diamonds. <laughs> I want a nice sustainably sourced diamond that I can rock on my hand. So it worked out. Okay. Someone asked, was it everything you wanted? And yes. I wanted to answer this one because it was like so much more than I wanted. And that really was like during those periods where I was kind of internally feeling a little frustrated with Connor, although like obviously not telling him about it because I was like, I'm trying to stay out of this. I just kept like thinking like, you know what? Like you just have to trust Connor Jill because like he knows you better than anyone. He's going to know exactly what you want. Like I just knew like you would come up with like the perfect thing. And I had told him like a couple little things. Like I didn't want it to be in a public place where there were like tons of strangers around. Um, I knew that I wanted like Tara to be there. I wanted his brother Dylan to be there. Um, and so like those were really the guidelines that I had like shared but outside of that I was like Connor will come up with like whatever the perfect scenario is and he totally killed it like having Kelly and my parents there to surprise me like Sid, John, Brendan, Caro just like some of your really good friends from Toronto too and then just like getting to have a whole weekend together was so sick like that was so fun. I'm glad you say that yeah. Yeah. Well honestly. Plus of course like your parents and Dylan Luca. And the, like the only thing I would kind of give advice on this is definitely if you're planning it well as you know someone who is going to propose um, while it's super important to have some friends there to help you kind of organize it, just because it takes a lot of the weight off. Definitely stick to your guns though, if you have kind of your own gut feelings, because you do know that person better than anyone else and what yeah. they'd want, where, you know, it got discussed like, okay, she's suspicious about the cottage, you know, maybe just do Europe instead. And like, she doesn't want a ton of people there, so are you sure you want the friends there? And I was like, you know what? the uh, Europe is gorgeous, by the way, yeah. for everyone who is getting engaged there, good for you. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, the cottage has special significance to us. Yeah. And I knew by structuring the way we did, we'd have the private moments and then get you to share with get all the people like, that yeah. we love. So that's all I'll say is like, you know, use the friends, but definitely stick to your guns too if you have yeah. a gut feeling about what they want. Yeah. And I'm just so glad it worked out. It was the way it did. perfect. <laughs> I loved it so much. I want to do it again. Oh. <laughs> Remember it's it this time, a million right? times. Okay, someone asked, did you regret the red nails? Yeah, I'm just this, gonna get the... Yeah, get the champagne. Yeah. This actually got asked so many times, like, was I mad at Tara for letting me get red nails, all this stuff? Like, I'm obviously good, not. <laughs> um, I, I, like, was fully on board with the red nails, and Tara had then, like, when I had said, oh yeah, I'll get red nails too, she had, like, looked at tons of photos of people with red nails and engagement rings to see, like, what the vibe would be. And honestly, like, my ultimate conclusion, like, would I have picked out red nails to get engaged in? Probably not. But like, I've actually realized it has very little significance, to yeah. be honest. Like, I'm gonna be taking 10 billion photos of my ring for the rest <laughs> of my life. And so I can get photos with every nail color under the sun. It's not, it was not like that big of a deal at all to me. 
I don't even like really think about it. Surprise, you know? surprise. The rest of the moment means a little bit more. Yeah, than the nail color. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I was not mad at Tara and I thought it looked amazing and it's it was just really not that deep. And that was a huge selling point. So well done, Tara. Yeah, we honestly. Because I thought like there's no way that Tara would let me get red nails if I was gonna get engaged. Tara's gonna so, get a lot of shout outs in. in this one. Yeah, exactly. Detail you are most excited about for planning the wedding. Oh. I know my answer, but I feel like I know more about planning weddings than you do, so. Probably, But okay. I think our answer will be the same. <laughs> well, food, I think food. is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, We're gonna have amazing food yeah. at our wedding. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Food will be a huge priority. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that that's probably the most excited. Yeah, me too, that's gonna be awesome. And having some like fun kind of art, more us options. So I don't think it will be like as much focus on the mains and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. you know, I've seen like the oyster bars. I think that's gonna be a Obviously, must for us. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have an oyster um, bar. Basically, I just want like constant food available for my guests. <laughs> I wanna be eating constantly. I want them to be eating constantly. I think a couple fun personal touches is what definitely. I'm looking forward to, how we make it kind of more us. Yeah, yeah, I totally yeah. agree. I have a very important question. Where did the can in your hand go? Congrats, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So if you don't know what she's talking about, when I'm walking down to the dock, you can see that I have a can in my hand of twisted tea because <laughs> we were going to the dock for a drink. We didn't get sponsored, so. No. <laughs> Originally, we are going to deck the whole boathouse with, you know, roses and flowers and all that. Decided to keep that outside to the dock because I wanted that to be the moment when it all really hits you. That being said, I always said like, hey, when we're walking down to the dock or once we get into the boathouse, she's probably gonna get a sense of what's happening. And then, so when we got actually into the boathouse, I'm like, all right, time to go. I'm like, hey, can you give me your drink? Actually, no, I- No, he I, just took my drink I just away. took the drink. Yeah, he just took the drink and said, I have something that I wanna show you. So I take the drink, put it on, we have like a little mini fridge in the boathouse put on our song, and then kind of at that point it's on. Yeah. And it's like, okay, come with me, I got something to show you. Yeah, And totally. so, it stayed in the boathouse. It did. <laughs> Next it's time, Twisted Tees, if you want to pay me, I'll <laughs> happily include it. Okay, someone said, did Tara help pick out your outfit for the engagement? Oh, Why yeah. did you dress so cute? Fucking Tara. No, she did not. <laughs> um, I don't even know what that means. No, it, it was just Connor's dad's birthday and we were going to a nice dinner at the club, was the story that I had, so I just got, dress for the club and that was it. <laughs> the reason I said fucking Tara is because she was the one who gave you the skirt, right? Oh yeah. And so she was supposed to wear like one of a white dress yeah. that she had and uh and, and then I switched, yeah. And then Tara gave her the yellow skirt. Yeah. Which in the end it worked out perfectly. I'm actually really glad I didn't wear that white dress because um it's like skin tight and I think looking back I would have been like body conscious. Like maybe not in the moment, but maybe looking back at like photos or whatever, I might have been like more highly critical of the way my body looks. And so well, I'm really glad. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm really glad that I had that on in the end because then. No, it, it worked out great, Tara. Right. I'm just giving yeah. you shit. But it's funny that it changed my entire plan. Yeah. When I was gonna wear. No. Oh no! Wait. Okay, my memory card's about to run out of space. So hold on. So, are we planning the wedding right away or taking time to enjoy the engagement? Oh my gosh, definitely enjoying. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's crazy how quickly people like just pounce on. Yeah. Okay, so when's the wedding? It's Where... pretty much the same as like when people say you get married and the next day people are asking when you're having babies. It's like, well, we just got married yesterday. <laughs> to be fair, like there's other people who have talked about and really like arranged like a marriage beforehand. Yeah, was... or who like want to plan it right away. Like our friends yeah. Martin and Monique, like literally like a couple days later, they were making their list of people who they wanted to invite. So that's totally like fair if that is what you want to do. We had not even finished planning our Europe trip yet. So I was like, let's plan one thing at a time. And also we're just not in a big rush. We're not even like totally sure exactly what we want to do as far as a wedding goes mm -hmm. and what that's gonna look like. I don't have any answers for any of that yet. So we're basically getting through our Europe trip. We've finished planning it now, which is good. And um, we, after that, we'll come back and start looking at like guest lists and stuff like that and kind of take it from there, I think. But, oh yeah. Um, but I've... we'll definitely start this year, but I'm not like hurrying into well, it. Well, and we had talked before, like, hey, we're okay with a slightly longer engagement. Yeah. Then, and it's just kind of, <laughs> 
It's funny when you spend like eight months or whatever planning this engagement <laughs> and then like people immediately that's the first thing they ask you and it's like dude I just fucking <laughs> finished this I just got it done like give me a second to breathe mm -hmm. but now I got our planner back so it's okay exactly old, so. <laughs> this kind of was the same thing big wedding small wedding well, we have an idea on this yeah definitely small wedding we're not having a big wedding Sorry, how family. small is the question <laughs> As small as humanly possible, but we're gonna see what that actually realistically looks like. I don't know. Yeah. Your feelings as you saw the flowers set up on the lake. Pure jubilation for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like shock. I was very happy, but like just my mind was like, what is going on? So like to give you like a little background of like the minute before that, as you're walking down the dock or down to the dock, um, you can kind of see the dock. And I remember thinking it was strange that no one else was down there yet because I thought like we were all meeting down there for a drink. I would assume people headed down and Connor came to get us. So I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then I think that's when my mind started being like, what's going on here? And so then I like glanced down and I saw a little bulge in Connor's pocket. But again, I was just like gaslighting myself being like, you are being a psycho. Like, stop trying to think that like you're well, about to get engaged. Because like it looked like his AirPods in his pocket. And Which so, I always have on me. Yeah, and so, I, but like still, I was like, but is it? I don't know, but I was just like, no, Jill, no, it's not, no, it's not. And then obviously when we got into the boathouse and he like took my drink away and whatever and said, I have something that I want to show you, that's when I was like, okay. And he brought me out and I just like stopped in like the doorway there and I was like, what is this? And he just said, I think you know. <laughs> and then I just proceeded to laugh for yeah. pretty much the entire time <laughs> it was the cutest reaction because like you could tell a i knew the day of that she didn't see it coming thankfully she was super busy with work yeah and like a lot of different factors i think threw you off but yeah. to get that earnest of a reaction out of you where you get the what is it and then all of a sudden giggling uncontrollably <laughs> where you're so nervous slash excited yeah it really kind of like helped sell the moment for me <clears throat> and then yeah <laughs> and I was so ready to go I'm like all right babe just give me a second because I start yeah. going and she's still giggling I'm like all right babe just give me a second we can get through this and then we can just celebrate yeah and you took a breath yeah and, and then I tried to like pull it together a little bit but did. I feel like I was just still kind of laughing you were you're were giggling it was cute though it yeah was... totally <laughs> Was the ring what you envisioned 10 million times better? It's so good. <laughs> I'm literally so obsessed with it. I stare at it all day long. Did you hear Tara almost ruin the surprise? So if you watched Tara's vlog, you may have seen this, yeah. but she and Connor um, were taking a little video on the dock. We had realized at that point, holy fuck, she doesn't know that it's actually happening. Yeah. And so Tara says, okay, let me take a video. And this is the video they take. Jilly, you're getting engaged to them. And obviously I am walking basically out in that moment. She'd been working for hours. Like, of course that's the like one moment. One moment. But no, I heard nothing. I, because of what Tara had been telling me, honestly assumed that I was walking into what was potentially an awkward conversation that Tara was confronting Connor about the engagement situation and her being upset with him. So that's what I thought was going on out there. But then I came in and you guys were so like smiling and whatever. And so I was just like, oh good. Like everyone's having a good time. Great. And that was that. That's so funny. <laughs> what was going through your head when Connor was making his speech? <laughs> Literally nothing. There was nothing going on up top. Like my brain was completely scrambled because I was so like was shocked say, that it was happening in that I'd moment. I'd say too much going on, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I just feel like more than anything, like I just went like blank because I was just like, what is like what is going on? And it was so hard for me to focus on what he was saying. So I've made him repeat it back to me. <laughs> Thankfully, he remembered, so. I did that um, at the dinner table. Like, so when we went to celebra celebrate yeah. with all our friends and family, uh, we were having a little dinner session, and they asked me to kind of recite the speech. And yeah. So, did that. Yeah. And so, he gave, like, the bullet points, and then he's given me, like. The full rundown. Yeah, but, yeah. I, I mean, as we said, I was just, like, giggling, and I think my brain just kept being, like, what, like, this can't be happening right now. <laughs> like, what's <laughs> happening? I can't believe it. So. I don't even know what was happening up top. Oh, did Connor know he was going to propose at the time of his birthday party when I threw you a big surprise? A hundred percent. Yes, very much so. Um, the one thing about the birthday party, so as everyone knows, completely took me by surprise. Had zero, zero idea it was happening. 
And it was by far the kindest thing anyone's ever done for me, where throwing such a perfectly themed and everything party for me was really, really sweet, flying in all my friends. Yeah. So it really did hammer home, oh shit, we gotta nail this engagement. <laughs> and especially like the surprise element, because Jill's good at throwing surprises, but she also loves them. Yeah. And I'm really bad at surprising because I get really excited and I want to share it. <laughs> so it really kind of, if anything, like hammered home, all right, let's like make sure not only we do this proposal right, but let's make sure we make it a surprise if we can. Yeah. Oh. Okay, what was your favorite part of the weekend? Oh man, I don't even know. The whole weekend was so perfect. Um, I mean, aside from like, obviously the actual proposal happening, which is obviously the number one highlight, I would say like going into dinner and seeing all the people who were there to celebrate with us. Yeah. That, that was, was amazing. That was pretty special. Yeah. Um, I would Ooh, I have another too. I would say probably for me was, you know, getting all, once we had the whole group all together that night, like being around the campfire. Yeah. and singing songs having these worlds collide yeah in such a wholesome awesome. set setting it was pretty sweet it was dope yeah um my other one is on saturday we i insisted that as many people as i could possibly get that they had to stay up until 4 a.m and then go down to the dock <laughs> to look at the stars um it ended up just being me connor dylan and luca <laughs> made it to 4 a.m although a lot of people made it very close so shout out our friends really showed up on Saturday night and, yeah. and partied with us, which was awesome. But going down and, and looking at the stars, like there's nothing like going down to the dock at like four or five in the morning and looking at the stars, you see a million shooting stars, you see just more stars than you've ever seen in your life. And it's so special and it was so fun having it be the four of us down there as well. 100%. Um, just kind of like hanging out and Taking it chatting. all in and yeah. reflecting. It was exactly. pretty great. How did Connor come up with the idea on where and when to propose do you know yeah really it was honestly kind of an easy choice yeah of where um i was trying to pick a location ideally that um we could have some friends participate in it yeah um and then the cottage was the first place where jill and i said i love you for the first time i think our relationship has taken many you know different big steps yeah at that location so it, it was a pretty easy choice and then the reason we picked that weekend was to help with the surprise so i came up with the idea of using europe as the decoy mm -hmm. um so once we had decided in september to go to Europe then I'm like okay perfect yeah I can go use the cottage then it's a weekend we typically go anyways yeah and then the extra benefit so she wouldn't be like why are we going to the cottage this weekend and then the extra benefit is my dad's birthday is actually that Friday so the day we got proposed we got engaged um, was on my dad's birthday so I used that as an excuse yeah to get her dressed up so it all worked out yeah. nicely it was perfect Okay, so I know we already touched on this, but someone said, I want to know how you were being such a problem child for them. <laughs> and the, uh, I just want to use this as a way of sharing this really hilarious voice note that I sent oh, my yes. friend Kelly um, the like Wednesday before it happened. I had just been picking up a lot of like suspicious vibes, but just again was like, gaslighting myself and being like Jill there's no way like he literally straight up told you it's not happening like you stop reading until little tiny things happening so I'll put the the voice note on now okay sending you a really quick voice note because like I only have a second here but like I'm getting so many sus vibes about the cottage right now for like this trip and I'm so confused about it because like I just really don't think Tara would have let me get red nails but maybe I mean they look good I wouldn't be that mad about it but like but also no, like it doesn't make sense because Connor also said, oh yeah, I was gonna do it on this trip and then I decided not to, but what if, what if that's a decoy? But bold to even bring it up. I hope you can hear my whisper right now. Like for example, Dylan's girlfriend just texted Connor and she, he was like, oh, Luca texted me. And I was like, oh, what'd she say? And he read it for a second. And then he was like, oh, she just like asked me to grab her tripod from her suitcase. And I'm like, why would she text Connor about that? I don't know, I don't know, Kelly. I'm reading into everything now. I'm just so on edge. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure. I'm pretty positive it's not happening this trip. But I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm glad you're, you know, 
facing this now, considering you're like, I wasn't being suspicious or trying to figure things out. And you definitely were. Like, just listen to this voice note and tell me. Okay, but here's the thing is I wasn't talking to Tara about it. I earnestly thought that Kelly did not know any information. And so I thought I was just like talking to a friend who knew nothing and being like, oh my God, I'm freaking out about this a little bit. So I wasn't trying to get information because I thought I didn't okay. think that she had any information. But oh my god, I remember sending that voice note being like, I'm a fucking psycho, but let me save this voice note just in case it does happen this weekend. No, the voice note is hilarious. It's no. so good, and I'm so glad that I saved it then because I sound I literally sound like yeah. like I'm losing my mind. Kelly, talk about a good liar. Holy oh crap. my god, Kelly pulled it off so hardcore. She like threw me off every cent. Kept being like, oh let me text Tara about it and see if what Tara Tara has to say about it like she made it and I saw her in person like a week before it happened too and she played it so cool I told her the whole thing about how Connor had said that it wasn't gonna happen he wanted to whatever so there you go <laughs> someone said will you have Canadian citizenship then also so cool <laughs> Um, not automatically by just getting married, no. <laughs> I don't think at least. Um, but I think you have to actually live in the country to be able to become a citizen there. Yeah. But um, if we move to Canada, then yes, I will become a Canadian citizen. Our overall ideal scenario at the end is that we are both dual citizens. Yeah. That way we have the options to live wherever we want to live. Um, regardless, our kids will be dual citizens, which I love that they'll have the option as well um, between Canada and the US to choose what they want to do with their lives so yeah. yeah but yeah I probably will be a Canadian one day I feel like a Canadian at heart I think you are a Canadian though. I think I was born in the wrong place somehow something weird happened <laughs> last question this is a good one to end on yeah pour us up some champers to answer our last question yeah sorry guys I didn't I feel like it wasn't as juicy as people would want but juicy there's nothing juicy about an engagement there That's shouldn't true. be at least <laughs> I have many more stories and like- I did propose to my brother's girlfriend right before, <laughs> yeah. so that's a little juice. Yeah, when, uh, when Dylan and Luca were helping Connor like set everything up, Dylan wanted to, cause Dylan took the photos for us during for his the- USC film degree yes. to work. That was like literally, I love Dylan and Tara so much obviously, but this was like part of my reason of why I asked for those two to be there. Cause I knew Tara would get what I would want for social media. And I knew Dylan went to film school, so he would be able to handle like photos and stuff like that. And so I was like, together, they're the ultimate combo. They're also the two people closest to us. So it all kind of works out in our favor of like, it. yeah, oh my God, everything we got was perfection, obviously. Dylan wanted to make sure that he had like a good angle and knew like what the lighting had to look like, what the shot should look like. And so he had Luca stand in and Connor, he was like, get down on one knee. And Connor had to get down on one knee and Luca was like, this feels Really it was pretty awkward. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's really funny. But you did a Very great job, cute. Luca. Yes. <laughs> Last question. <laughs> Something you're both looking forward to the most. Ooh. I'm really looking forward to our Europe trip next month. It is the first like long vacation we've ever been on together. It's our first time in Europe together. I just think it's going to be really special. It's such a fun and special way to be able to celebrate our engagement also. Um, the fact that like will already just be in like engagement bliss when we're going there rather than like being there and me constantly being paranoid about when it's gonna happen if it's gonna happen like all this stuff i'm kind of glad that none of that is gonna be a part of it and we just get to go and have the best time ever i totally agree <laughs> um yeah I, i'd say what i'm looking forward to is both the europe trip as well as we're going to levensworth um, oh my god I at the end of the wait. year so sick and I purposely planned that so yeah. that we could kind of have some moments to really reflect on the year and you know the big thing is I think as I said before you guys as a couple kind of decide we're ready to take that next step yeah. far before you actually make it official so getting to go off and kind of enjoy taking that next stage and then <laughs> reflecting on all the other stages to come yeah. in life I think is what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited. I'm just excited to see like what life has in store for us. I really don't know. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> so And just knowing I'll have you regardless. Yeah, exactly. It's just nice Ooh. like feeling like you have someone who you can rely on and trust fully so that like no matter what happens, you're not on your own, you know. Oh yeah, because life's a bitch. Don't yeah. get me wrong. There's, <laughs> So many good moments, but you know, oh. bad moments too. Hundred percent, and just knowing, having like the comfort, 
knowing that there's someone there you can trust. <laughs> Sorry, my camera shut off. But they're like, you're dragging yes. on. Wrap <laughs> it up. Wrap it up. We get it. We get it, camera gods. <laughs> wow, we ran through that really. Yeah, quickly. I feel like I feel like we did a pretty good job. Let we, me. I always gotta double check because where's Joel always skips ones. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a kind of a variation of this question. Okay. So the question was, did Tara annoy you when she is trying to get you to do a Q&A with her? No. My variation of that was going to be, like, were you suspicious at all? Because Tara said afterwards, like, hey, I was so nervous during that. Like, I couldn't even, like, think of answering the questions no. properly. No. you didn't pick up on it. <laughs> I didn't pick up on anything at all. Okay. And, like... I think Tara must have felt that I was annoyed with her just because I was really stressed about work that day So I probably wasn't like as like bubbly and like talkative as I usually am, but I wasn't annoyed at her I was just like frustrated with something going on at work and also just trying to get it done because it was Friday And I really mm. didn't want to work that late on a Friday at the cottage So I was just like trying to get through it But I think obviously Tara was paranoid because she knew what was happening And so she was perceiving that all as like me being annoyed and like being onto her But that was not the same situation at all well it's funny <laughs> we had talked about the fact that <clears throat> you weren't in a great mood yeah that, that oh day. yeah which like as you said like there's nothing worse than being up in that setting and then having to do work and like yeah not be able to enjoy it especially when everyone else is out there kind totally, of relaxing yeah. and Tara's like oh she's in a mood I'm like I know but honestly it's in her fav favor it's like trust me once the question gets asked that mood's gonna shift about it, yeah completely. obviously yeah, so. <laughs> Oh yeah, perfect. Do you so, approve? You did a good job, Joe. Thank uh, you. That's it. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, there are definitely a lot of other questions that I thought were just better suited for other videos. So Ooh. as you guys know, there are going to be 10 billion other engagement <laughs> videos. So funny. Someone commented like, morning routine as an engaged person, workday routine as an engaged person. <laughs> like all of my videos are just like, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. And yes, so expect that. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like some good like TikTok videos. Yeah. It's like you catching yourself in the rain. Exactly. Con yeah. Push up. Oh. Checking my hair in the <laughs> reflection. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.